you know, once again, we are covering yet another Roblox update, a new Roblox feature that surprisingly has received the most mixed reactions possible. And it's surprising in the way that I expected at least 90% of the reactions from the community to be 100% negative. But the surprising mix comes in when you realize that there is genuinely many people out there right now saying things like they are not the biggest fan of Arthur and they are not even going to lie about that but actually they think the layered clothing and 3d clothing will end up being very good for the platform so i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i'm just becoming lucky with the replies that are being shown to me or if we have really matured enough to be able to admit that we are not such a big fan of arthur but 3d clothing might end up being a good update but regardless i'm gonna relish in the fact that i'm actually seeing positive reactions about something like this for once so please allow me to show you what's going on with layered clothing today but before i do so please leave a like on this video and subscribe so it was actually nine days ago that i uploaded a video called roblox released 3d clothing and back then it was completely broken so it was very obvious that it wasn't really released in a way that everyone was supposed to be trying it on and testing it and buying it and wearing it inside of games because well i mean take a look for yourself it just really was not working in the way that it was supposed to be working but but barely even a couple of days after that, Roblox fixed every single item that they uploaded. However, I can say that I'm pretty sure it's still not fully, fully released in the way that we are supposed to be purchasing these items and wearing these items and just displaying them within games. Because even though right now they did put them back on sale, because I don't know if anybody caught it, but the first time that they got uploaded and released into the catalogue, all of them were on sale for one Robux, which is why so many people currently have them in their inventory because they were just going through all of these clothing items and just purchasing all of them for one Robux each before. I don't know if that was a mistake or anything, but if it was a mistake, Roblox realized the mistake very quickly and took each and every single one of them off sale. But now I've noticed that some of them are available for free, whereas most of them are out there for around 150 Robux, give or take 50 Robux. But even though they're all on sale and it seems like we can purchase them right now if we would like to do so all of the descriptions are exactly the same copy and pasted and they say in big capital letters this is a test jacket i can only be purchased by roblox employees at the moment now at the risk of being kind of stupid and wasting robux where i don't need to waste robux i'm not going to try and purchase the jacket because like i said it seems right now the buy button is right there. I can click it and it does say that the price is 150 Robux. So visually it seems like we can purchase these, but then the description is clearly saying something else. So I'm not too sure what the situation or the deal with these jackets is right now, but when you try any of them on, they are no longer broken because Previously, when I made that video and said that they were broken, the jackets all placed inside of our heads. Whereas if you try them on right now, they fit perfectly to your avatar. Each and every single one of them right now, as I'm pressing the try on button, they are fitting to my avatar. I think no matter what package you might be wearing, whether you're wearing R15, R6, R3, or any of the character bundles, each of these clothing items, each of these jackets do appear to fit perfectly around your avatar and this is one of the most incredible things I think just just seeing them on my own avatar personally I really do quite like the way that some of them are looking and I think this is exactly the way that I expected this to go because previously when Roblox has given us previews of how the 3d clothing might have looked on avatars that aren't our throw so that'd be like r6 or r15 they didn't look the best and for some reason they made the examples that they gave us look quite bad like I wouldn't say terrible but they weren't the best and it made me think that ultimately layered clothing might not look so great on R6 or R15 avatars but looking at these jackets on my own avatar and especially ones that fit like the colour scheme of the avatar I can tell you right now that these look incredible and I am so like genuinely 
unbelievably excited to see when this update actually gets released and perhaps Roblox is going to allow developers to create layered clothing or 3D clothing for themselves in the same way that they can currently create UGC accessories, which is the part about this update that I am the most excited to see, just because I feel like UGC within itself, the addition of UGC catalog to Roblox already opened up so many new routes in terms of creativity and the way that these UGC developers can add so much more to Roblox, so much more to Roblox that they were lacking and that they couldn't give to themselves. And now with this addition of layered clothing and 3D clothing, I'm, I'm just beyond excited to see where this is going to take Roblox, where we are going to go with this and where different developers are going to go with this new creative freedom that they are about to be given, or at least I assume they're about to be given it. But yes, layered clothing now should load properly in the avatar editor. However, in game it may be different. It's not fully released yet. I think that's the most important part about this. If we already quite like or even slightly enjoy the way that layered clothing looks on our avatars, we need to keep in mind that it's not fully released yet. It's going to get better than this. So with that in mind, I this is why I expect so many opinions to be fully changed and I feel like the only people who might not end up liking layered clothing are the people that, you know, probably would rather die than admit that they like something related to Arthro. I will admit that on the more blocky avatars, the avatars that aren't wearing any packages, the clothing does fit a little bit weirdly and seeing the clothing so stretched out and into more like a cubed shape, it doesn't fit all that well, but for my avatar personally, it's not quite Arthur, but it's not quite the blocky avatar. It's somewhere in between, I think, and I think this is where it looks the best outside of Arthur, because I, I don't think I've tried an Arthur avatar on my own avatar ever, but I, that's where my personal stance on this update currently is. But of course, as always, I wanna know what you guys think about this as well. So the comments is the place to go. Please, if you have tried any of these layered clothings, please tell me what you think about it. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate the love and support that you guys give me. And you know what? It helps me out a lot. But I'm guessing Gover Roblox are finally kind of releasing layered clothing and this time it actually works. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.